Now that we have our joists in place, it's time to start outlining the shape of the overall deck, okay? We do that with what's called a rim joist. And it's at this time that I would start to define that kind of outer edge of everything. Um, we do have a plan, but you can also be creative at this point. And what I think we should do is start with these first three joists, and then we're gonna take about a 20 degree angle that way. The way to go about this is with a chalk line. Okay, we didn't talk about the chalk line yet. It's a great little tool. I'm shaking it because within the body of this little thing, there's some actual nice dry chalk. Usually, you know, blue, red, black. We've got blue in this case. I'm gonna take this, stretch it across this line here, and just catch the ends of these joists. We'll give it as much space as we can where we're you know, feeling comfortable. I've hooked it onto this joist here, and I'm gonna lift up and boing. That leaves a nice little blue line. If you can see that with the camera, one, two. Now this one, on the other hand, has this piece that's sort of blocking the line. So I'm gonna put a pencil mark here. <laughs> No big thing. So when you have a situation like this, it's, it's sort of a random angle and you're gonna use your speed square once again to determine what angle you put on the table of your circular saw to make this cut. So I'm gonna come up to this with my same um, Swanson speed square, put on this line what seems to be about a four degree cut. You're going to do that for each joist because as you might be able to tell, they're going to be different often. So make sure you measure for each one of those and then come back to your circular saw, set the table, in this case four degrees, and we'll come and cut that next. I've got the table for the circular saw set at four degrees. Now I want to pay very close attention to what angle I really need to cut. So there are times when you can come in from below to get the angle correctly, or in this case, I've got a cut from above. I've got my ladder set up safely so that I can do a nice safe cut, and I'll be plunging down from above to get this angle correctly cut. I've made that last cut. We're gonna have one rim joist go to this joist, and then I'm gonna go from this point to the far point with my chalk line here. And we'll just make this a straight cut all the way through. Make sure you get some good chalk on there. And just one good bing. We've got our chalk line now, so I'm gonna do the same process with my speed square to understand the angle that I'm going to need to cut. And here it shows about 24 degrees. So I'm gonna put 24 degree angle on the table of my circular saw and come, first I'll make the mark on the side that I'm gonna cut here. And then I'm gonna come back with the ladder, make that cut, and we'll work our way down the line. Okay, so now so you can see how Henry's just helping me move the rim joist up and down to get flush with the top of our joists. There. This one goes down a little. Thank you, Henry. And then this one goes up a little. Perfect. What a beautiful day to work with you, Henry. Let's do the old school. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I know we didn't describe every single cut, but I think that's the fun, is letting you all determine how you might go about doing the angles, you know, just be safe, use your ear protection, eye protection, have fun. That's the whole point of this thing, is to have a good time. And I feel so lucky that I got to be with my son Henry to hang out on a beautiful day and build this, so. 
I hope you get that same good luck wherever you are.